Hey guys, I'm Sid and today I'm going to show you how to paint garlic. This isn't going to be a real instructional video, more like a time lapse with some tips along the way for you guys. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to show you my setup or how I had my setup last night when I was filming this and then we'll just get into the time lapse video. Um, so let me just flip my camera around. This is, it's not focusing and the lighting is super bad. But that will be my garlic. I'll insert a photo because the light, this is the light that I have right now. <laughs> And it's complete shit. It's not like a filming light at all. So you can't really, you know what I mean. It's like too bright. Um, and then I just set this up. And this garlic, we're kind of just going to forget about him because he wasn't involved. Um, and this was kind of set up differently. But I took a picture and I'll also insert the photo because it kind of helps when you make a 3D situation, 2D in a photo when you're painting it. I've noticed for myself personally. Um, and then just here's where my tripod was set up. So, yes, let's get going. And then I just used, totally didn't use nail polish, ignore that too. But I just used my Winsor and Newton paints that will be linked down below um and some brushes on amazon that i use will be linked down below too i bought this set lately recently nick pro i guess and it was like really cheap it was seven or eight dollars for a bunch of them and they're pretty good so far so those will be linked down below and i believe i used one to paint this um so yeah Hey guys, so I'm just setting up here and I constantly have a blanket over my head because it's fucking cold here in New York, so that's what's happening there. And, uh, um, my canvas is gessoed, but <laughs> those pencil lines just, I should have put more gesso on it, but I didn't. Hey, that happens. So I'm just grabbing the, um, burnt, um, umber? Burnt umber? Burnt sienna, what the fuck? Burnt sienna and mixing it with the liquid like I typically do to grab an outline. And I was looking at my reference photo to try to get the proportions uh, somewhat okay and decent. And the goal in this is to not make it look exactly like the reference photo. It's more to like look at it and be like, hey, yo, that's a garlic. Because I was worried about painting this and I was pretty sure that it was just going to look like a fucking blob. So the fact that it came out looking like garlic is more than I could have hoped, honestly. Um, so that's why I said this is an uninstructional video because I thought this was going to be a flop. Um... And I actually put it off for a few days of painting it because I was worried about the outcome and I didn't want to, like, disappoint myself. Um, but this year, with trying to paint more things and just get more knowledge on painting and get more practice in and get better, uh, I've noticed you just really have to take out that personal fear that you're having when painting if you're, like, a perfectionist about painting, like I am sometimes. And you just have to do it. And when you do it more, you're going to get better. If you put the time in, you're definitely going to improve. It's with anything. You can really do anything. You just have to put the work into doing it. And then you're Gucci. <laughs> so that's what I'm trying to do lately with these paintings. And it's been difficult, but... Knowing that I don't have to be a perfectionist about it has taken off so much pressure and painting has been so much more enjoyable. Um, and I feel like I am am getting better and am improving. So that's really good. 2019 is going to be like the year of making more artwork and 
just making a fuck ton of it. So, um, all my art will definitely be for sale or most of it that you guys see on this channel. So the link will be down below for that, <laughs> but I'll probably have a ton of art laying around. I've been trying to do like four or five paintings a week, take more or less. So definitely be checking up on that. And, um, they're going to be lower price because it is just a whole lot of practice. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys have been enjoying this video. I don't know how to put music over the fucking videos, so that's, yeah, hi, that's why I'm here rambling. <laughs> and then this is whereabouts everything on my camera died, so yeah. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Hey guys, so what you missed, sorry the lighting is such shit. This is bothering me so much. This is the worst setup right now. But what you guys missed was um, me just building up color, adding more detail where I thought was needed, and just really like layering the paint, if that makes any sense to you. Um, You'll understand if you've painted in oils, if this isn't your first time, that you just like, ugh. Um, because the layer that I feel like you guys le last left off on in the video was a good mix of liquid and the paint. So then as I get towards the top, I kind of shift it to not all paint, but way less liquid so it's way more painty and i can really like layer the paint and get brush strokes which you see see right there like that layered kind of paintbrush effect i don't know what the fuck you would call that but that's what you missed and a lot of highlight um some more just reinforcing the shadows um, especially this shadow, this big one, which I'm not sure if I like the shape of it, but whatever. I feel like this was a painting where I could have worked on it for, like, ever and still would look at it and be like, eh. So, yeah. That'll be it for today, guys. If you're interested in purchasing this painting, the link will be down below, along with my Etsy link to my other paintings that I have listed up right now. And links will be down below for everything I used in the video. And follow me on Instagram at Duchess Avenue Art. Thanks a bunch for watching, guys. Um, please subscribe and like this video if you are not already. And have a great day and a happy new year.